We are welcome back to Ashley Level at Fats Online Academy. So we have started the word problems on set theory. So we have done example one and example two. If you have not watched that video, I will leave the link in the description box. Make sure you watch it before you join us here. Now, example three. In a recent recruitment exercise into the civil service, 300 applicants were interviewed. 90 were listed as holders of university degrees and 120 as holders of higher national diplomas. 65 were listed as both holders of university and higher national diplomas. How many applicants were neither holders of university degrees nor holders of higher national diplomas? So, like I said in the last video i said that the first thing is that you have to understand the question very very well read it make sure you understand it now from here we can see that in a, they said in a recent recruitment exercise into the civil service 300 applicants that means the cardinality of universal sets will be 300 were interviewed 90 were listed as orders of degree so those that went to university with 90 and 120 has orders of national diplomas so 65 were listed as both orders of university so here means that it's not only those that went to university so but those that went to university only and those that went to both university and national diplomas so this one, 120 has orders of national diplomas. So the, this one means the holder of um, national diploma only plus both that did university and national diplomas. So and this one means 65, well, both orders of university and national diplomas. So the solution, the next thing is now that you have to represent the key words there. That is, we used you to represent university degrees and N to represent national diplomas. Now, the currency of universal sets would be N of universal is equal to 300. So 90, order of university degree is equal to 90 and order of national diplomas is equal to 120 65 for both that is those that have university degree and national degree is equal to 65 is equal to 65 now so we have to find those uh, the, those applicants that do not have none of the degree certificates. So and that one will be Ju Junior A Prime. So that is what we want to find. So the next thing is to represent everything in a Venn diagram. So let's use two markers. Here will be the universal set and it is equal to 300. Here for university and here for national diploma. So everything here will be those that have university degree. Everything here will be those that have national diploma, national diploma. And here is their intersect. So those that have both university and diploma certificates. So this place is for those that have university degree only. And this place will be those that have higher national diploma only. So 
what we are going to do like we did in the last video is that you have to everything that belongs to university will be cardinality of university will be those that have university but not national diploma plus those that have university and national diploma and those that have university degree are 90 90 applicants we do not know those that have university only so let's represent it with p or x anything so it's better we represent it with x plus those that have both 65 so the next thing is that we have to subtract 65 from both sides so that would be 90 minus 65 is equal to x plus 65 minus 65. So subtract 90 minus 65, that will be 25. So. So x, let's write it here, this is x, so that x is equal to 25, so which means those that have university but not national diploma is equal to 25 applicants. So meaning that this place will be 90 minus 65 90 minus 65 which is equal to 25 so another one is that we have to find those that have higher national diploma only and for us to find that one it would be 120 Minus what? Minus 65. That is, the meaning is that cardinality of national, national diploma will be those that have national diploma only, but not university, plus those that have both. Cardinality of uh, university intersect N. So this one is equal to 20. This one let re represents with 1 plus 65. So to find y, we have to subtract 65 from both sides. And that will give us 55. So that means those that have higher diploma only will be equal to 55. So, now the cardinality of Nash N uh, intersect U prime is equal to 55 applicants. So, having known those values, so we have to find those that do not have any of the two certificates. So let's represent that one. You can write it here, you can write it in anywhere. So let's represent that one. So this one is 55. So cardinality of universal states consists of those that have only university, which is um, U intersect N prime, plus cardinality of U intersect N plus cardinality of n intersect u prime plus cardinality of u intersect n everything prime so which is equal to cardinality of u intersect n prime plus cardinality of u intersect n plus cardinality of 
N intersect U prime plus Carnazi Hall U union N complement. This one is union complement. So now let's substitute everything here. So the Carnazi Hall universal set is equal to 300 applicants. Those that have only university degree, we go 25. The their intersection is 65. Those that have national diploma only, 55. And those that do not have any of the two certificates, we do not know it, so we represent it with Z. So now let's simplify. 25 plus 65. That gives us 90. So 90 plus 55 will give us 145. So 300 is equal to yes, 90 plus 55. 5. So it's 145. So 145 plus Z. So to make Z the subject of the formula, we have to subtract 145 from both sides. This one will cancel this one. So Z be equal to five five one. So that is those that know have any of the two certificates, university, union, national, everything, prime is equal to 1, 255. So, let me quickly explain again. Those that do not have any of the two certificates, we bring the cardinality of universal states minus the addition of those that have only the university certificate plus those that is like this Carnacy Hall University Union and everything prime will be Carnacy Hall Universal Set minus Carnacy Hall those that have university certificate only and not national plus cardinality of those that have university intersect N plus cardinality of those that have national but not university. So you have to find those ones then you get that one. So that is that about that. So please make sure you study it very well. Jot everything down to understand everything that I have said understand everything that I have said. So, till I see you in the next video, make sure you like, and if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thank you, and God bless you.